After you made your famous trade that we talked about, yeah, I think you put on a trade where you bought a lot of gold or gold futures, and you were a, what was called by some a gold bug. You're a big believer in gold. Gold's now about $1,700 an ounce or so. Are you believing that gold is now a good investment at this price? Yeah, we do, and, and thank you for bringing that up. Um, we, you know, we do believe that gold uh, does very well in times of inflation. Um, we, we saw what happened the last time gold went sort of parabolic was in the 70s when we had uh, two years of double-digit inflation. And the reason why gold goes parabolic is that basically it's a very limited amount of investable gold. I think it's on the order of uh, several trillion. Well, the total amount of financial assets is closer to 200 trillion and fixed income somewhere above 120 uh, trillion. So what happens is if you own long-term treasury bonds that are yielding 2% and interest rates move up to 5%, those bonds fall materially in value. Uh, likewise, if you have cash sitting in a bank that you're earning 0% on and inflation's 4%, you're gradually eroding the value of your money. So as inflation picks up, people try and get out of fixed income, they try and get out of cash, and the logical place to go is gold. Uh, especially if it starts to rise in, in inflationary times. But because the amount of money trying to move out of cash and fixed income dwarfs the amount of investable gold, that the supply and demand imbalance causes gold to rise. And the more it rises, it sort of feeds on itself and has the potential to go uh, what I call parabolic. So today you are a big believer in gold as a good investment now? Yeah, so we, we thought uh, in 2009 that with the Fed uh, doing quantitative easing, which is essentially printing money, that that would lead to inflation. But what happened was that the Fed, while the Fed printed money, they at the same time raised the capital and reserve requirements in banks. So the money sort of recycled when the Fed bought treasuries, created money, wound up in the banks, and then was redeposited at the Fed. So the amount of excess reserves at the Fed almost rose by the same amount they were printed, and the money never really entered the money supply, so it was not inflationary. This time around, uh, the money has entered the money supply. So the money supply was up something like 25% uh, last year. And the, the best indicator of inflation is, is money supply. So I, I do think we have inflation coming well in excess of what the current expectations are.